Hi, Earth Signs. My name is Debbie, and I'm an intuitive reader. And I'm here today to give you guys your bonus reading for all the Earth Signs out there. Hope you guys are doing well. Guys, please take the time to smash that like button, share, comment down below, as well as subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get into it here. We are going to start off first for the sign of Taurus. Guys, please show... Or guys. Uh, Spirit, please show me what does the sign of Taurus need to know at this time. Spirit is trying, has been trying to give you messages, I feel, with the Temperance. Temperance is a very spiritual card here. I do see that there is lack of communication. You know, Spirit sees the emotions. Water, in regards to tarot, is very emotional here. Uh, not knowing where you stand in regards to a relationship. Not feeling the love. The Four of Cups is a cool card because it also represents, yeah, it represents not feeling the love. But it's also known for that love offered to you so this tells me is spirits basically been trying to i feel like somebody's been hearing some kind of whisper in their ear that's your spirit guide everybody has a spirit guide believe it or not yep uh but definitely i feel that they've been trying to converse with you and tell you to be patient be more patient with this there is lack of communication but i do feel that there is have the strength during this time work on your energy but have the strength here to it will be healed you will be getting your wish fulfillment with the star things will improve with this relationship but i also feel that spirit with the strength and the star here try to stay strong because of this lack of communication to heal your energy as well okay because uh, they see the emotion they see the tears here yeah very upset energy here somebody's definitely crying here uh, but they want you to know that this cup of love will be coming in. You have to stay strong with this lack of communication. Things will work out in the better and things will heal with this relationship. Okay. And also work on your energy too. Star is known for healing yourself as well. Because you can definitely feel that. All right. Virgo. Virgo, you could be dealing with a water sign energy with that king of cups. Whoopsie. Oh my goodness, va va boom. You guys are in a twin flame relationship with that lover's card. You could be dealing with a whew, with a Gemini as well, but there's new communication. It's gonna rock your world, Virgo. Uh, you got the death card heading towards that tower with the ace of sword behind it. Oh, somebody's coming in unexpectedly. They do love you, like I said. Virgo, I do feel that for some out there, there is a twin flame energy here. King of Cups is a cool dude. He just has a tough time opening up, expressing, okay? But there is true love here, Virgo, and I feel that they are coming in. Oh, I just heard rushing in for some, not all, but rushing in. There's going to be a change that would explain the tower here, that rushing in energy of that message. So it could come in kind of abruptly, but definitely out of the blue. Could be an actual apology here, but I'm really feeling more so with that Page of Pentacles. There is an apology. Well, there's communication, bounce being brought in, things to be talked about, things to be explained is what that tells me. Very nice energy, Virgo. Look, Be on the lookout, baby, for that one. Whew, good one. Capricorn. What does the sign of Capricorn spirit tell? Tell me what they need to know. Hmm. Clarify that, please. It's time to regroup. There's a few different messages here. Yeah, it's time to regroup. Spirit works in mysterious ways, don't they now? You got the wheel of, or the uh, high priestess here. You also have the eight of swords. So definitely somebody is missing. Somebody is definitely in their head stressed out. It's very, very sad energy that things came to a close. The world card is a major arcana. It's both are turned looking towards the past. However, that world card, the naked chick on there, is looking at that Ace of Pentacles. There's new beginnings coming in. It, 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 it's basically saying, clear your energy. Yes, you know, we're all human. They know, spirit knows. We don't carry a pack, a backpack. We're not, you know, ghostbusters over here. You know, we don't carry things on our back, even wings. They know that we're human. We feel emotion. There's nothing wrong with that. They just want to settle your energy down with getting upset and uh, you know, um, mental anguish. It's not good. Eight of Swords is high uh, anxiety over this and a lot of missing. I understand the missing, but 
I feel that spirit wants you to put more faith, more belief in them. The high priestess is extremely spiritual. It's also known for that 11, which is that divine energy, twin flame here. They're going to be coming back. There's a new start of communication. Now, you could be dealing with fire sign more specifically, Aries here with that page of wands, but I feel that they are coming back. But I feel that there are steps. You're definitely on a twin flame journey here with that high priestess and what I'm feeling, okay? But definitely take that time to heal your energy, okay, first. Once you heal that, it's going to take some time, I feel, Capricorn. That's when they're going to come back. Spirit's not going to say, hey, we're going to let Mr. Joe Schmo walk into your life, you know? No, two people have to be balanced in a relationship to be able to work on it. This is your time to shine, to, in, to improve what you have to improve, to work on you, you know, and your energy. You can darn right feel bad. You can feel horrible. You can feel in the sense of missing. I'm not saying that. Absolutely not. I miss people all the day, all the time, you know, every day. But I do feel that I feel like somebody needed to hear this to give them some kind of hope here. See, this was sticking out. There's definite happy, happiness coming. OK, you're going to be hearing from them. You're going to be happy here. Yeah, they walked away. You got the five plus the three of cups. So that's the eight of cups. So they walked away, ended it. But it doesn't mean that they're gone. OK, so there's a new start with that ace of pentacles. But I really feel also with that ace of pentacles, it's time to shine. It's time to uh, stand your ground and know how strong you truly, truly are. You know, sometimes I think that, sorry, Capricorn, I'm going, I'm going off over here. Uh, but sometimes I really think that we don't realize how much strength we actually have in our own life. We do. We definitely do. Okay. I'm living proof of that. Okay. I won't get into it, but I'm living proof. <laughs> so we have a lot of strength. We just have to pull it up uh, like a bunch of uh, straps, you know, like we're getting out on the field. <laughs> we have to pull up our jock straps here. Well, not jock straps. I was thinking more farmers. Uh, but yeah, definitely, I feel you have this strength to move forward, okay, to heal your energy. Do it. Turn to source. Talk to them. Uh, there's so much better than any kind of insurance program, believe me, and it's free. So it's definitely a good source to turn to. Everybody has a spirit guide. Talk to them. That's what they want to help heal your energy. So that way you can move into this relationship. Your, your, oh, I was going to say spouse. So some of you are married that was split up kind of thing. But I feel that definitely, you know, this can be worked on. There's, there's still hope in this relationship. Don't give up. Okay. Work on you. And that's what I have for not just Capricorn, but for all the, um, earth signs out there. You guys rock. Have a good one and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.